Hi everyone and welcome. It's Carrie again. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who watched and subscribed to my video last week. I think the last time I checked I was up to 30 or er, 18 subscribers and that's about 18 more subscribers than I expected. So that was awesome and thank you very much, especially if you took the time to leave a like or a comment. Um, that was very encouraging and that's part of the reason that I'm back this week. So, this week is a little bit uh, simple. It's just going to be a sim simple whip update, um, but I chose to go with a theme this time, and the theme is stitch-alongs, because I'm doing several this year. I kind of joke that 2020 is the year of the stitch-along for me. Um, and so I just want to share which ones I'm doing and where you can find more information about them and uh, how far I've gotten so far. So here we go. Uh, I'm doing currently five stitch alongs. And I found most of them through um, an excellent blog post on Stitching the Night Away's website. I will post a link to that in the show description along with links to all of the stitch alongs that I'm going to mention today. Um, but it's a great blog post. It lists all the stitch alongs that they could accumulate for 2020, including some that are continuing from year to year, um, way more than I could possibly ever do in a lifetime. Uh, I believe they also said that they're going to keep updating it as the year goes along. Uh, so first off, uh, what is a stitch along? Uh, if you've never heard of one before, a stitch along is basically a pattern that is released um, a little bit at a time and everybody works on it together it's released at set intervals in some cases it's a mystery stitch along you don't know what you're working on until pretty close to the end or you know the theme but you don't know exactly what each individual entry is going to be uh, in one case that I'm going to talk about today we already have the whole pattern but we don't know what colors we're using um, and that gets updated as we go along Anyway, they're a lot of fun. I find them very motivating because I have a definite timeline. I know when my next piece is going to come out, so I know when I have to be done, or in this case, I know when I'm officially behind. Uh, and it also gives you something to look forward to, um, especially the ones that are a little bit of a mystery. You don't know what you're going to get until you get it, and I personally think that's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's jump right in and I'll talk about some of the ones that I'm working on and uh, hope that you enjoy them. The first one I'm working on is the um, the Cunning Cross Stitch uh, Letters from Hogwarts Stick Your, Stitch Your Own Adventure. And wow, guys, this is amazing. Uh, first of all, it's completely free. Uh, but the amount of work that Stuart has put into this is just mind-blowing. Uh, it came out about in the fall last year. The introduction came out, which gave you a frame to stitch. The frame alone is gorgeous, the detail in it. Um, there's Hogwarts Castle. There's the Hogwarts Express. Um, there is a small little parchment frame for each chapter as it's released. Um, and it's, it's just simply stunning and it blows my mind every time I look at it. So anyway, the theme, if you couldn't guess, is you are a first year student at Hogwarts and each chapter is a letter you're writing home to your parents about your first year in school. And the Stitch Your Own Adventure part comes in, and again, this is just the amount of work that went into this, guys. Um, every month you have options on what you're going to stitch. Um, so it's not one stitch along. I, multiple patterns are being released with every release, which is every two months, so January, March, uh, etc., etc. Uh, here is how far I've gotten so far. I haven't gotten very far on the frame because I was in the midst of the Great Christmas Panic of 2019 when it came out, and I'm still actually trying to recover from that. Uh, so my frame is nowhere near done. But here's what I've got so far. And this is a little bit of chapter one and a little bit of the frame. So you can see um, we have the customizable wand up here. I think they said there's something like 216 iterations. Um, 
this part is not really choose your own if you do it the way that the instructions are. The wand chooses the wizard. I'll let you figure out how that happens. Um, but I did customize this a little bit because my Pottermore wand is made of redwood. And so I went ahead and made this wand of redwood. And then chapter one, I don't think it's too much of a surprise. What would the first thing your first year at Hogwarts be would be the sorting. So here's my Ravenclaw colors just starting to peek out a little bit. But anyway, like I said, it's totally free. There's a link to the blog in the comments. Um, and seriously, somebody buy that man a coffee or 10 because it's amazing. And I'm really excited to work on it and see how it turns out. The next stitch along I'm working on is the Clouds Factory. I don't know why my printer decided to print, but we'll see. Uh, the Clouds Factory Grimm's Fairy Tale stitch along. Um, this one is a little bit special for me. I'm making it for my niece. Uh, my three-year-old niece is wants her room to be pink. We can't all be perfect, but she'll get over it someday. But anyway, I thought this would look really pretty on her wall, and I'm having a lot of fun stitching it. Um, and basically every month they release a small piece of the pattern, and it is based off of a different Grimm's fairy tales. Um, the cool thing is they're picking some obscure ones. Like, there's some well-known ones and some obscure ones. I say, so far, there's only been two months released. But the very first one is the Bremen Town Musicians, which I did not remember at all. So, um, this one is by Clouds Factory. It's $19.99 for the pattern only. They also have kits available uh, with either linen or Ada. Uh, I went ahead and splurged Merry Christmas to me. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and got the, um, the kit because I'm starting to have a slight obsession with hand-dyed fabrics. And also I wanted a chance to work with the um, Weeks Dye Works over dyed fabrics, which... My local needlework stores carry, but they're usually closed on Sundays, which is when I have time to go. So it was just easier to have it all shipped to me. Um, so I here's where I've gotten so far. Again, I said it's the Town Musicians. Um, I've not finished January yet, obviously. My animals don't have faces. But it's just, it's, I think it's beautiful. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, February was just released a couple days ago as I'm recording this. And I'm really excited to get to work on it. Uh, I should finish this one within the next few days and start on February's. So that is the Clouds Factory Stitch Along. One thing I wanted to mention is uh, for a lot of these, especially like letters from Hogwarts, since there's so much variation and I'm so far behind, uh, a great place to find more pictures of these is on Instagram. For those that I know hashtags, I will include those in the show description along with the website uh, for more information so that you can go ahead and flip through Instagram and see different examples of people's work on these stitch alongs that may be farther than I am and may give you a better idea if it's something you're interested in. The next one is one that actually I talked about a little bit last week. Uh, it's the most different of all the stitch alongs that I'm working on, and that, that is the Enabler's Temperature Stitch Along. Uh, it's different because it's daily. It's different because we already have the entire pattern, and the only thing that changes from person to person is the um, colors for every day. So I'll just give you a quick update since, like I said, I talked about this one last week. But here we are through February 2nd, and you can see it's been nice and warm in Indy the last couple days. We've gone out of those night those icy blues and into the greens and actually yellows. It was uh, 67 degrees was the high yesterday. Um, it's February 4th as I'm I'm writing this, and there's February 3rd. Um, so, but I love this pattern. I think it's gorgeous and. <laughs> Indiana weather makes me very sad most of the time, but at least it looks pretty when I put it down on my Ada cloth. The next one I'm working on, and it's probably the one that 
Well, these next two I'm, I'm relatively far behind on, but this one is probably the one that I'm more far behind on because it's a weekly release, um, but it's also one of my nearest and dearest fandoms, so I had to participate, and that is Son of a Stitch's Doctor Who-themed Hooked on Sonic's Stitch Along. Um, patterns are released weekly in concert with uh, Doctor Who episodes, so since we're getting near the end of the season, we're getting near the end of the Stitch Along, and I just started. Um, but I got into the game a little bit late, and I'm going to finish it anyway, regardless of whether or not I finish it on time. Because like I said, it's one of my nearest and dearest fandoms, and I love working on it. And basically, I think you can tell from the title that it focuses on uh, the Doctor's sonic screwdrivers, with a few surprises thrown in. That's a nice thing that since I'm behind, they're not visible on my Ada for you to see. Um, so I've got one Sonic almost done. I think this is the eighth Doctor's. I can't remember. Um, but it's from the very first release. This font for the Hooked on Sonics that I've barely got any of done so far is gorgeous. Um, nice TARDIS blue. I really like it. There's a lot of backstitch and quarter stitches in this one. If that's something that's relatively new for you, it's going to take a lot of patience, especially with the quarter stitching. I actually am going to have to frog all of these quarter stitches in here because they're a little bit off, I, I figured out as I was doing the rest of it. Um, but anyway, it is $19.99. It's available in his Etsy store. Uh, even though it is kind of late in the game, it's really pretty. It's a lot of fun, and if you're a Whovian, why not? So... Again, a link will be in the show description. And then the final one that I wanted to talk about today, and this is the one that my little science nerd heart has just fallen in love with, and that is Climbing Goats Designs, Wonders of Space Stitch Along. And I don't have a lot to show you again um, because I've fairly started this. This is going to be a ring nebula when it's done. One thing I love about this one is that they send you fun little facts about each section that you're stitching, each picture uh, monthly released on the 15th of the month is a different astrological picture. Again, the first month is the Ring Nebula. Um, and just, I love geeking out over science facts, so I love every month getting a little bit of astronomy information along with my cross-stitch patterns. And um, the colors in these are absolutely stunning. I'm going to do a little switch up that I, I heard about in one of the Facebook groups. That's another tip, is most of these stitch alongs have associated Facebook groups where people are, are talking about their work and they're showing some of their variations and some of their tips and tricks. Um, but what I've seen done with this is uh, people have been using, for the in place of the black, of which there's a lot, they've been using the Etoile. And I'm working on Spanish, not French, so I probably butchered that pronunciation. But um, the sparkly uh, floss. Uh, so just to give deep space a little bit of shimmer. And so that's where I am with that one. And then I swore that I was done. And I said, I'm not going to start any new projects at all until I finished at least two of the Christmas gifts I still have to work on, the leftovers from the Christmas Panic, and I'm caught up on most, if not all, of my stitch-alongs. I think Letters from Hogwarts is going to be a while, so if I'm not caught up with that one when I see something I fall in love with, I, I might be willing to make a, an exception. But then... Somebody in, my, in the Snarky and Nerdy Cross Ditch group on Facebook... Uh, Deanna Miller decided to volunteer to create an Avatar of the Last Airbender stitch along. And how can I not? So I'm signed up. I'm in the Facebook group. Uh, mercifully, it's still being designed. She hasn't started it yet. So there is one stitch along that I'm involved with that I'm not behind on yet. Uh, but I'm really excited to see what she comes up with. I love Avatar. And... Um, I will post the link to that one also in the item description because the more the merrier and it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm excited to see what she comes up with. So that's it for this week. Uh, again, thanks so much for uh, watching. 
a little bit of an update on where I am in terms of uh, television and uh, other like other things to keep me entertained while I'm stitching. I finally finished Oathbringer. It was amazing. It was also a 55 hour long audiobook, so it took some effort, but I finished it. Uh, I've heard that Sanderson has the first draft of the next book finished, so I'm really excited about that. Hopefully, maybe that means we'll see it in the next year. I don't know how editing goes very well, but but they left it in a pretty interesting place, and so I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next one. Uh, thanks to a recommendation from last week, I've picked up my first Robin Hobb book. I'm not starting it quite yet because I'm taking a little, a little break and uh, doing some... For me, it's popcorn or... Uh, puff piece um, because I'm really weird and I love my job and I I am obsessed with all things true crime but I'm taking a break to read a true crime book it's called American Predator it's about a serial killer Israel Keys um, so far it's pretty interesting I don't know I I like true crime so if you like true crime I think you might find it an interesting read I am going to, for Magical Stitches, the book this month is uh, Fairest of Them All by Serena Valentine. It's part of the Villain series. I haven't started it yet, but I heard that it's a great read. Also heard, or I've also started The Lightning Thief, um, because I haven't read the Olympians uh, series yet, and I think that I need to remedy that. And then in terms of television, in the last pretty much week, I binged the entirety of Soul Eater which I enjoyed uh, more than I thought I would. I originally picked it because it was something that I didn't, I wasn't very invested in, so I could stitch and kind of like have it in the background, and I ended up getting more invested in it than I thought I would. It's not one of my favorites, but it was it was a decent watch, and I enjoyed it, and I'm probably actually going to cosplay Maka uh, for Gen Con this year because that looks like it'd be a fun costume to make. So... Uh, Game-wise, I'm still obsessed with Slay the Spire. I was given that for Christmas this year, and it's just, it's nice, it's a nice game to play while I'm eating dinner when I can't be touching my stitching because I have food out, uh, because I can get a, a run done in 20 minutes, which is about what it takes me to eat. Uh, I've been religiously avoiding trying to fall back in Stardew Valley because I know once I do that, my stitching is going to suffer. Although, at some point, this will probably be used. Um, but right now, I'm trying to avoid it because I know that there's a lot of new content, and I know um, it's a huge time suck for me. And I really would like to get some stitching done. Uh, in terms of what's next, I've started researching uh, my first uh, attempt to learn on video. I'm going to try some fabric dyeing. I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to happen next week because I still have to do the research and I still have to um, I have to clean my kitchen <laughs> so <laughs> that it doesn't look horrible um, on on video. Um, because right now I would not put it on YouTube for everyone to see. Uh, and I just, it's my overtime week at work and it's a little bit busy so I don't know if I'm going to have time. But I am working on it. Uh, next week may just be a quick whip, whip update uh, or if I get this done then it may be my first learn. But I am starting to actively work on some of those things that I was talking about in terms of things that I want to learn and things that I want to um, show while I'm learning. So anyway, that's it. I hope you have a great week. Thanks again for watching my video. Uh, uh, feel free to leave a note in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any recommendations, television books, podcasts, computer games, and um, that's it. And I actually got through an entire video without Lexi bothering me, which is probably a first in terms of usually when I'm in front of the computer she wants to be here so no Lexi this week sorry I'm sure she'll be back uh, 
sooner or later. Anyway, have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye.